Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. So it's Monday morning, which means another Staking Coins and Masternodes update video. And before I go through the stakes for this week, let's just uh, take a quick glance here on the left-hand column down the coins that I'm staking. I just want to uh, explain what I'm staking and how I'm staking those for people that uh, are new to the video series. So if you've been uh, watching this before, you'll know a few weeks ago, every few weeks, I, I give a quick update on the kind of coins I've got and how I'm staking them. But I just wanted to give a very quick update this week for people new to the channel. So uh, firstly, Navcoin, I'm actually staking on the NavPi. You can also stake with the Core Wallet. And if you jump over here, so I'll have a quick glance here. This is my NavPi, and I've been receiving the last uh, four or five days this error message. Now, it's nothing to worry about. Basically, the file, the update, uh, which runs every day looking for new updates, the file on the server has been removed by the devs because they're in the process of putting a new version out. I believe it's 4.2.1. So basically the old version has been removed, that's why the download fails. If you actually click the dismiss notice, um, I find that um, although it, the, the notice disappears, I have to then reboot the device and then the next day it kind of comes back when it checks again. But it is staking reliably even with this message as you can see here. You can see all these generated uh, transactions over the last uh, few days. So these stakes are still coming in. So you don't need to worry. And in a few days when the new version comes up, this will be able to download it and the message should disappear. But that's the NavPi. You can also stake uh, using the Core Wallet. Now Syndicate, um, I use the Core Wallet to stake my residual coins, but mainly I've got a masternode set up. So I've got two masternodes within this wallet. Uh, the wallet controls the masternode, so it starts and stops the masternodes. And the masternodes are on on a Vulture VPS or two Vulture VPS uh, servers. Neutron, I use the Core Wallet uh, to stake. Uh, NeoGas, so I use the Neon Wallet for this. It cold stakes, so I just log in uh, once a week. It ties into my Ledger Nano S and I just um, uh, basically withdraw the um, gas that has accumulated over the previous week. So I just do that once a week, that cold stakes. Bean Cash is the Core Wallet staking again. Uh, Smart Cash, I have a Smart Node set up again using a Vulture uh, VPS. So that's the Smart Node, which is what they call a Master Node. So I have one uh, Smart Node uses 10,000 Smart Cash, and the rest of it is sat in the wallet. Um, and once a week on the 21st of each month, you get a Smart Reward. So if you have more than a thousand coins, I think it is, in a particular address that hasn't sent any. Uh, coins out that particular month you you get a uh, smart uh, rewards it's about 2.5 percent a month uh, so i also get uh, smart rewards for smart cash as well as running the smart node and then basically at the bottom here linda um you see i've got a quarter of a million coins again i sold my linda when it spiked up in price a couple of weeks ago i bought back a, a chunk i used some of the money for uh, something else different project which i'm working on but i i bought back a quarter of a million a couple of days ago i haven't received any stakes uh, yet um from the reddit it seems that if you're less than about half a million linda a lot of people say use a staking pool instead so i will look into that if i don't receive any stakes in the next uh, week or two but let's have a look at the amounts we made this month so starting again with navcoin at the top 5.01 stake coins worth three dollars 72 uh, 81 the syndicate this week worth 18 dollars 73 neutron 10.54 only two stakes this week compared to a really good week last week unfortunately that's worth 87 cents uh, neo gas this is pretty much the same every week because we've staking with the same amount of neo so that's a uh, 0.188643 worth $2.94 uh, one stake from bean cash again another thousand it had a 0.3 on the end this uh, week for no particular reason so one stake from bean cash worth $5.62 seem to be averaging out about one stake a week for bean cash which is uh, quite nice so it's been quite reliable uh, smart cash i received one smart node payout this week 144 and a half stake coins they're going down a little bit i presume as more and more nodes are coming into the network so the amount i'm getting per um per reward for the smart node seems to be decreasing a little bit but that was worth eleven dollars and nine cents and as i mentioned at the bottom here and no stakes uh from linda i only bought those coins back or i only transferred them back over to the wallet uh, a couple of days ago so no uh, stakes this week for linda so overall this week 42 dollars 98 now it's been a slightly poor week on some fronts uh with staking navcoin has been down a little bit neutron down quite a lot as well um 
But the other thing is obviously over the week and over the last sort of 36 hours, the prices of all cryptos have, have really kind of plummeted. So we're down probably about 20 odd percent, I would say on average across these kind of coins. So the amount that we've um, staked is worth less in dollar amount. So that's the uh, combination that means only $42.98 this week. Now that's a weekly return of just under $3 per thousand dollars invested, a yearly return uh, 149 uh, dollars per thousand dollars invested across the the board here and that's a weekly return of 0.3 percent yearly return of 15 percent which is down from i think about 17 percent uh last week and that's just the weekly fluctuations of um whether a coins you know had an extra few stakes or not so let's jump over to the graph and you see here down to uh, just over 40 so we were at a nice kind of average amount of about 80 or kind of dollars and then the decreases in price over the last kind of few weeks we're down to $62 last year and down to $40 this year and this is uh, oh, sorry this week rather and this is really more of a factor of the price of the coins than the amount that we've been staking we have staked slightly less this week but nothing in the region of what should be uh, you know a third less than last week or half less than the week before so uh, that's it yeah very disappointing uh, markets at the moment the last kind of couple of days we've seen that big plummet so we are continuing to stake within to run master nodes in other news i have started a mining a chroma so that was a video that i mine blocks did so Lee from Mine Mine Blocks did this. It's going to be a master node coin. So I've uh, switched one of my rigs over. I've been mining a few of those solo mining. So I might look to pick up the rest of those in a few weeks and set up a master node for that. Um, that's about it. No great changes. Um, we will have to see what happens with kind of Linda. I might buy some more Linda. The price of Linda, you know, has been doing pretty well. It's the only coin within um, all of my kind of stake and master node coins where the price has actually gone up over the last few weeks. So, um, you know, kudos to the Linda team. They've had a white paper out and various other uh, news. So they've been doing quite well, but um, I would like to get a master node for this setup uh, eventually because the staking, even um, before I sold and kind of bought back, had been a little bit more sporadic than I would have liked uh, for Linda. But anyway, that's it for this week. Ask me any questions uh, below. Give me a thumbs up if you would. That would be great. It helps other people find the videos. And apart from that, that's it. So have a great week and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.